Hello guys, welcome back once again at another banging episode of Trisha Talk Show. I'm your host Trisha, type of the jam aka Xena, to those of you who doesn't know who I am. Well, in today's episode I am joined with a Zim dancer artist, Straight out of Mercy. And every guest who comes to my show is special. I don't mean to brag but yeah, no, I'm telling the truth, right? Hmm, okay, no jokes. So, this guest of mine calls himself Say Twitter Ready for Attack Boss. Hmm, what a unique name. Mutudisi. Boy. Hi, Miss Trisha. Okay, thank you for coming to my show. You can meet the viewers. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Yo, yo, big up every gate on you in the building. Me day as you plan, me day as you declare, me day as you wish. Yeah, yeah, we day pan Trisha talk show. Ready? Strong message from said Twitter. Okay, um, you know, your name keeps ringing in my head. Said Twitter, said Twitter. I mean, how did you come up with your name, said Twitter? Because it's not every time you get to hear such names, you know, said Twitter. Because I myself know said Twitter as an app. <laughs> so I don't know how you're killing yourself, Twitter. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Twitter is like, uh, that name was um, labeled in my street. Um, so when I grew up, so I was a noisy person, like someone, uh, someone who speaks like loud. I was like, do you tell this? I said, when I tell this, I'm a street, something like that. Uh, loud. So uh, the name Twitter was labeled in my street. So, um, so because of that, I was a noisy person, you see. That's why they call me Twitter, because, you know, all the, all the speaker is that, that Twitter, that noisy thing, you see. So my voice was like that, so that's why they call me Twitter, then they gave me that name. Oh. Yeah, then I'll be like, I like the name. From your answer, I only, I only caught one thing, loud. When I mean loud, as a noisy. I was going to ask Papa Rika. I'm going to say to it, Papa Rika, loud. No, I mean noise isn't the voice. Like uh, it comes to music. Jimmy, I'm not saying Jimmy. Watch you. On a Twitter, I'm not tourist. Sort of. <laughs> okay, that's yeah. a good name. That's a good name. It's really nice. Well, said Twitter. Um, you are a Zim dancer artist, right? Yeah. Okay. Can you tell me more about your music? Okay. So, um, as I can say, uh, I have a lot, and I have a lot to promise, and I'm still working on something. Uh, for now, I, I think I have a, a lot of songs, but I think people that don't know me actually like uh, most, but uh, where I stay, or what I do, some other people they like, you see. So, about my music, I'm still on my career, and I'm still promising something. It's fire fire, you see. Okay, so are you a part-time or full-time musician? Uh, for now, I would say I'm a party time musician. Party time? Yeah. So, have you released any songs lately? Like uh, albums? Yeah, for now, I don't have an album uh, actually, but um, I'm still working on an album. I did an album before, but it didn't go well, so I decided to leave it. But I have songs, singles, not an album, but I'm promising to have an album. Okay, so, what can be the album before? And it didn't go well. Like, what really went wrong? Do you mind sharing with the viewers? <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, I think, um, yeah, my, my songs was good. And I think the, I don't, I don't want to blame someone because I uh, don't know what the producer or what, what, what producer mm -hmm. was really good on it. But I feel like uh, it was not the right time to release it, you see. It was not the, that time. So I was like, I know, let's stop this. Let's make it single, single, single. That's why I release it like single, single, single. So. The right time is in you were not ready to release your songs to the world, or the right time that it wasn't ready. Could he, we couldn't feel my songs echo as you released them, or we can't feel out something went wrong. Cause we're not gonna song like you personally, and then what's the recorder gonna produce? I we as as exactly as how you're releasing or how you wrote the song. So what exactly wasn't uh, the right time? Okay, I would say like. Uh, the well, let me say situation. You see, like uh, I, I, I write according to the situation, uh, like what I'm going through. But that time, I, I didn't know that. So I knew that people accepted. Like uh, it was not, it was not good for that time. You see, I mean the songs and I knew that, like uh, it was not, it was not that good. So okay. like uh, it was not the right message for the right time. Okay, yeah. so I, I think I think um, in the next I don't know five or ten months or maybe a year, 
it's going to be the right time to release the album because I'm sure if you already record the album, it's still out there, right? No, nah, the message now is coming. I think soon the album is coming. Oh. Soon, 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 soon. So, said Twitter is really promising fireworks. Yeah, ready for that one. Okay, said Twitter, um, when last did you release uh, a new song? Since you told you just told me like now you haven't done an album yet, the album you've done is didn't really come out well. So those things have released. When last did you release a new song? Um my last song uh, was on last week. Last week on, on Friday. Friday, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. This last week Friday? Yeah, last week. Wow, Friday. tell me but more it's not about out it. Yet, but it's a redeem, so everyone will be on redeem already. So we are still waiting for that artist to come. You see. So yeah. I'm promising for that one. Watch out for this one. Uh, I'm sure Trisha talk show fans really like to hear like at least a hint. Okay, maybe a first out. How about that? Oh, a hint. Mm -hmm. No, you know what? This one is a packaging. <laughs> it's a thing. Yeah, uh, I'm promising for the. But you, you never so know. It, yeah, I know. Okay, it's fine. I can do a thing. <laughs> so it's since you said you released your song last week, last week Friday. This last week Friday. Yes. Oh, this this is a new one. Yeah. I would mind my fans to hear about a hint, or maybe just a, a freestyle would do. No, okay, I'll, I think I'll just give you four ways because uh, I don't I don't want to. Yeah, bo, let's do four, let's do four, it. Four, four, four. Okay, okay, get yourself ready. ready. Mm -hmm. So, tapping the face for beat, for the scatter bandit, Roxman bandit, ready for your tag, sunset for beat. Yeah, this one. Oh, uh, I was about <laughs> to stand up and dance. Oh, ah, really? <laughs> You can, you can, you can. Okay, I can I can hear the vibe, the way you're singing it, even though you're not on the, on the mic, but you seem like you're, you're on the mic already. Yeah. It's really nice, and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to place the link uh, when your song is out in my comment section, so that people can also hear your song, and also follow you on your YouTube channel. Yeah. Say Twitter. Yeah. How is it really working out for you in this music industry? Uh, did you start music in here in South Africa? Because I'm sure we are both Zimbabweans here, right? And I'm sure it didn't start this year, or maybe you started in Zimbabwe or here. Like, how, uh, when did you really start uh, your music career? And how is, really, how is it really working out for you? Okay, so I would say um, uh, when I started my music, uh, I started in Zim, in Zimbabwe, but I didn't record in Zim. But my kid started in Zim. Okay, so it's like the lyrics started in Zim, the lyrics, yes. not the recording, the yeah, voice. Yeah. Okay, okay. I never recorded in Zim, but when I came here, that's when I came popular this side in South Africa. So when was this? Uh, 2016. Wow, 2016, it's yeah. been years. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's really been years. I hope everything is well. I mean, uh, there's this song that I first heard on your single songs when I also first came to South Africa. Mm -hmm. It's called Jamaica. Do you remember the song? It yeah. was you and Elder Mitchell. Oh yeah. That, and yeah. actually, when I really first heard the song, I thought <laughs> I thought you were. I, I remember telling you that I thought you were confused. I didn't know the person who sang the song, so yeah, when I heard the song, I thought you were that person. And then when I met you in person, you telling me that was your actual song. I was like, oh my god, oh, you really yeah. have a good voice. Like, <laughs> congrats, you. it's a really nice song. Thank you, thank you. And I really want to talk about uh, your song, Chimurenga Chim something, if you know that song. Wondo Chimurenga. Ch Wondo Chimurenga. Yeah. Oh my god. Can you really, let's, let's get <laughs> deep into this song. Let's get deep. Yeah. Because one day Gudara, Zune, Manchester, and all oh, that. Yeah. So, what was really going through your mind when you sat down, started writing lyrics, because the song itself is really deep. I wonder why my sister loves it so much. Please tell me, tell me the genre of the song. No, oh, really? Okay. The song was about uh, the World War, um, like what's something happened, so we were like teaching the, um, the young ones how it starts as blacks and uh, how it becomes and like that, you see. So it was in my mind, like what I learned at school, what I, um, what I thought was good, you see. Yeah, nothing much about the song, but only oh my knowledge. My God. You are now making my sister feel bad about the song because already she likes, she loves yeah, the song. That's why I'm saying that it's a history thing, it's like World War thing. Like you were not there when it happened. You see, mm -hmm. so now I'm reminding people like. 
Yeah, because like yeah. exactly because per song you actually not the, the song itself, you know, that deep feeling when you're listening to it. Ah. So you know, pane wa nondo fara song out there, wa nondo da song yodi akai gara pasa kai tera ano remind wa something about the song. The other way I was crying for my country. Oh, mm, <laughs> cry baby. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. So we're gonna play the video Hondo Echi Murenga in two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Set with again now. Ready for your talk. Get it ready for your talk. Ready for your talk. In the need of the boat. 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 Sipandafambandanzozijindi <laughs> Ugazirwa musoro kuti ugoluka bo Abata mama gaza wazi vatiri bo Abangiro bangdiye ane smarty bo Abuza reyi ano kuza kuti bo Afla vama zondo gaza iye yaba bo Nabata yangi hanzi foti handi bo Abunza razi shingi katkita hasi bo Aita vanuwe seva jimbe kuti bo Antina maji vado katimu yaba bo Ano ziva twitter pa matangisi bo Oscar na doji vachi simbi sachi bandit Karama ziva timu ya chwa jisi bo Akwe dugu geto tagara tiri bo Ndina adu na troi mfunge zwaba bo Ine nendiri bo Pese banda fam banda nzwa fzi jinti bo Ndogu tenda neiko Ndiwe wakosha ndiwe ugele bo Ine nendiri bo Pese banda fam banda nzwa fzi jinti bo Ndogu tenda neiko Ndiwe wakosha ndiwe ugele bo Ano suwa kutindi sakare bo Ano fara kundi wana ini ndiri lo Aha di zangu ano ngoda zake Ama njenda ramba atisi bo Sijando ita mufunga zizi bo Masisa wandaro wa mufunge hasi bo Aburi tiza chipo ndo saka ndati bo Shibata zimta tita peza lese bo Saka bo Saka bo Saka bo Look at them bless Sex with again girl Ready for your talk Coming back to Twitter, Twitter said Twitter ready for attack boss. He's been in the industry for quite a lot of years and hasn't released albums yet. I mean, it's not every artist that we meet, very monomo, South Africa, Africa, or Zimbabwe itself. Vanoti, vano. It are my years I can wonder not doing my albums. Cause I once recall we have this Zimbabwean guy Adam into a hip hop artist. And then um, I think he only got five or ten songs out of my singles. And then my songs there when they got hit songs, trust me, the guy had to do an album. So it's not really that simple for an artist who's been in the industry for for years and then having done in even done an, an album. So we are really hoping this album, we said to Tahir, is really promising us to hear. Uh, it's really going to be coming out soon. Because uh, Nguva, time is money, you know. So, Madutanga, yeah. you know, let's, we want to see it. We want to comment. We want to, yeah, that's how it works. So, do you have a manager yourself? Or do you manage yourself? Do you have a record label that you are signed to? No, I manage myself. Mm. Okay, my manager, my promoters out there. Tineva, tema freelance here. We have the freelance. This guy here, right here, mu freelance. So, kne my manager, uko out there. Varuda, we go manager, we go promoter. We have say Twitter here, ready for attack boss. As the guy himself, as na na, mu manager, he's free anytime. He is free. So say Twitter. Since you said you manage yourself, so are you not even signed to any record label? No, I'm not. Okay, were you before? Cause I've ne most of yeah. your songs that we've released here. Yeah. Wa no, I was not. I was not signed, but I, I was working on. I was working on that, but not signed. Oh, but you I mean? I was working with him. But I was not signed. Okay, who is that him? 
I was working with Sim Charge. Sim Charge Records. Yeah, because I've noticed most of your songs that I've known, that I've listened to, you have that logo, yeah, Sim Charge. So that was asking maybe he is your manager or he is your promoter or you are signed to his record label. No, he was my guy. <laughs> oh, your guy. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yes, like I said, we still have said Twitter ready for attack boss in the building. He's a Zim dancer artist, like I've mentioned, and he have done a couple of songs that I've loved. <laughs> okay, I love Jamaica. The one he had um, a collaboration with uh, Elder Mitchell. And I also like Wondra and Chiringa. That one is, is lit. And then Gai Marudo, Gai Rudo, and all sort of, uh, all sort of uh, singles that he has released. So please go on his YouTube page. He said Twitter, Ready for Attack Boss, right? Yeah. Yes, you can go to his Instagram page, TikTok Set page. Twitter. Is this, is this the same name? Yeah, it's Set Twitter uh, Official. Oh, Set Twitter Official. Like on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and all around. Please go and follow him, like his pages. Also for interview bookings. Uh, also for if you want him to come and perform at your birthday, uh, weddings, and all that. He's available anytime soon. Okay, coming back to you, Set Twitter. How many artists have you collaborated with so far? Um, I'm not sure yet, but I would say like... Um, Maybe maximum or minimum? I'll say five. I'll say five. Five. Mm, I think and I think a collaboration with Elder Micho, um, Junior K, Sponsor Man, uh, and who's this? I, I, don't, I don't remember the other ones, but. Um, I remember seeing your song and, with uh, Troy. Look here. Was it <laughs> Troy? Troy Beta Man. Mm. And, um, and this other lady. Yo, that's you, and I, I have a song with you also. <laughs> oh! And that's um, Meda. I featured the song with uh, Trisha. Yeah. Oh my it's God. Him. I forgot to mention that I'm also I, I'm, I'm also one of the people he collaborated with. Yeah. Okay, guys, go also check out that song. It's said Twitter featuring Zina, Denoita Meda. And trust me, it's really Meda. Okay. Uh, have you ever been sabotaged uh, whilst performing? Like more normally, I've seen in Zim dance artists in Zimbabwe, if someone is performing, is the lights off or the mic off okay. or there's, there's always that scandal like when someone is performing. Have you ever done that? Yeah, man, but you know what, sometimes it's, maybe it's going to be like, uh, you, you would, we call it sabotage, but we're not so now it's like DJs when, when they are playing, if they don't, they don't like you or you're not in good books. Uh -huh. I don't know what it is. If you say like, if I said, uh, I want one drop. Uh -huh. DJ, DJ, DJ. Uh -huh. Then DJ is not there. Okay, uh -huh. don't, don't you get to go with your own DJ when you're going to perform somewhere? Yeah, like, yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's upcoming, like, yeah, uh, it's not like, data, data, what you call it, a DJ. Mm -hmm. it? It's hard to get a DJ, but DJ, I'm not sure what you want, you want something to feel the family, mm -hmm. So it's going to be hard for me because I'm still marketing myself and he still want to feed his family and I must give him something because he's, he's working on me also. He's a, mm -hmm. like, he's a, a team. So if sometimes, like, uh, my shows are named always, like, yeah, uh, People that will call you like, hey, fine, bro. <laughs> it's fine if, if you get something to eat, you see. Yeah, it's like that. Boss, you know that big. You mm -hmm, see. Mm -hmm. You see growing. Yeah, you, you can call me to maybe to your birthday. I, I can come, then I'll sing for you. Maybe. No one knows. Maybe you, you just buy me a drink. And you see, oh like, my go, God. Go, go. I, 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 yeah, I, I, I didn't want to stop from you from talking. Yeah, it's like that, yeah. But uh, so it's, it's like sabotage. Boss, you know, someone is like, uh, it's like underrating your things, something like that. Is because you you're not big. Is it? What do you think? It's underrating or it's jealousy? No, it's not jealousy. Because maybe if you if you are all upcoming artists like on that stage, and then maybe he's supposed to come after you, like if maybe he knows that you are go you're you're more good than him, he has to do one or two things. Like, don't you think it's yeah, jealousy, you not know, like underrating? Well, you can call it jealous, but uh, they're your fans. Is it first? Mm -hmm. They're your fans. They wanna be like. Because I don't want to Let's take a selfie. Mm -hmm. like that. Because I don't want. Because you, you want to show social media. You was with Twitter. You was with Trisha. You was with what 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 what. Is it mm -hmm. for that? Is it? But it's not about that. Gabriel, they they want to take a selfie. I'm saying like you. You are not big. No one knows you. They in Zim. So if you come to my bed, the people you, you see, I'm marketing mm. you. It's like she's marketing me now. Maybe mm -hmm. I, you know. It's, it's, it's okay, like I, I just remembered something. I remember hearing this interview where um, 
Was it Tilda? No, he was Ola. You know the guy Ola from Zimbabwe? Yeah, yeah. This yeah, guy who trained us. I got an award, uh, I think, a few months ago. Yeah. Not, okay, yeah. I remember he had an interview with this guy, Sniper Storm. Uh -huh. When he was uh, asking Sniper Storm about <laughs> about him getting yeah you see now, getting you himself see, booked and see. then he got fifty dollars just say come and perform and then I'm gonna give fifty dollars and then for me fifty dollars is like it's, uh, that's exactly what uh, what I was saying kuti zoni munoanenga aku booka kushoko aku and then expect you kuti ubajare team yako including my DJs and all that it's all, also not my instrument because some of the artists vano. They want to play live instruments and then you, you know have to pay also that so for you know what the trick is? Come the on. Trick, you, know, you know the trick is what? Mm -hmm. um, music yeah, I can I, I can sing, I can bring the, the I'm an artist name. Mm -hmm. I can bring the voice out. But okay. there's a producer. Mm -hmm. You see, you can bring the beat out. Why is it? Mm -hmm. So if you call it those things, that's music now. Because I bring the voice out, then you bring the um, the instrument out. So people they will, they will be paying the artists. Like yeah, they in Zim, that's what they do. They pay the artists, they forget the producer. You see? That's why you see sometimes like uh mm. it's like a sub like if you if you didn't hear, hear a song on radio mm. but you're on the rhythm. You see it's like that because when you didn't pay the the producer, you see? Because oh. yeah, the producer is the one who producing the beat and you just bring the voice out, you see. So at least you know you know you missed I have to pay what? Yeah. Yeah, but because <laughs> <laughs> the fans yeah. come, f so the, the fans comes to to watch you sing. Mm. You pay the producer. Yeah, for the beat, for the works he did, for the beat. Yeah, you see, because okay, uh, okay. you you know to, to make a beat, uh, to make a beat, it's, it's so hard according to your words. Because mm -hmm. when you just come and do your words, uh, hey, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get I'm gonna get Where is it? But I'm the producer. I'll be like, okay. So this guy is, is trying to say, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get So what does the beat you want? Is it the Afro or dance or my piano? Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. That's work for him. Okay. So okay, for you on your side, yeah. when you are starting from fresh to write a song, do you just do you sing with the rhythm or do you play a bit first? What what what, what do you really do or just do yeah. a cappella? Okay, so uh, the mostly uh, I do my song like uh, according to my life, and um, I don't know, uh, I don't know like this song like um, you know like if you wanna approach someone, you said you know, there's many ways to kill a kid. You know, mm -hmm. Kind of like if you wanna approach someone like you know, text it on WhatsApp or Instagram, like the pics you can do all oh, that, something like that. You see, but mm -hmm. the person you can't see that was likes and that is like. Women say you can be right. So uh, to make you happy, so I feel like to write a song so I can I can go for this. So if they, <laughs> if you listen to the song, maybe you can hear me cry or something like that. So, so sometimes uh, when I write songs, I write about my life or what I think um, and what I do the most. Mm -hmm. so if I want to approach something, or maybe I don't talk about that. No, I don't. Okay, okay. I, I, I understand what you're saying, yeah. but you haven't replied my question. When you're writing a song from scratch, like, for example, we're sitting down here, mm -hmm. you want to write a song. Because yeah. I've, I've, I've understood from your, from your understanding, you write a song according to situations, whatever is going on through your life, or etc., right? Mm -hmm. But I'm asking, when you're writing a, score, a song from scratch, do, do you play a bit for you to just write a song? Or do you do a cappella like okay? Do you do do you play a bit in your in your in your head or what? What do you really do? Okay, um, you know what? It's, it's, it's different, you know. Yeah, but I would say I would say um, I would write according to the beat. Okay. But sometimes it will be different because you won't have a beat because it's like always you have a beat. You see, but he, um, maybe oh, oh God, you can think of lines. You can write down. But I know in your mind you have a beat, like the previous beat, maybe if it's the one you did before, it's still gonna come in your mind. So you're gonna use the same beat. You understand? So if you wanna make the if, if you wanna make it different, you see, that's when you you write it with the with, with um with the beat. You understand? Because you wanna make you wanna make you wanna forget that the previous what the previous beat. Mm. You see. So that the thing is I write my songs according to the beat. The Is beard, it? okay, yeah. it's the beard. According to the beard, yes. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Yeah, according to the beard. Okay, so since you said you are an artist, you can just you can just think of something, a situation. Okay, let's call this one a, a situation. Mm -hmm. 
that time he refused to give me a full line like full song or maybe just a, a, a normal 15 line freestyle just because he didn't want us to know this coming up song you only had to give us four or five lines right do you mind just giving us like a proper freestyle even if, if even if it's something that you wrote before or something that you're think, thinking now since you said you write out of situations let's <coughs> take this on a situation ship or something that you've written before i really wanna you know feel you because what you what you those four lines you're saying like like i told you i really want to stand up and dance i don't know if you have a beat <laughs> no <laughs> it's okay uh, you okay you can even do this yeah okay you see you okay okay Okay. Right. Right. Go, Yay. Mm, yes, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Yeah, it's a I don't mm, thank me for that pulling that in you because you didn't want to give me a freestyle. No, uh, freestyle. You didn't want to give me you didn't want to give me freestyle. You pay for freestyle. Freestyle is free. That's why they call it freestyle. Because it's free. You so you can do it anytime anyway. Yeah. Okay, so Twitter, I've heard what you are saying. So now um I've already talked to the viewers that they can uh, get you online on YouTube and all that. You said it's set to the official, right? Yeah. Okay, can you that. just at least repeat that, talking to the viewers, like, just tell them everything, if they want to book you for interviews, book you for uh, movies, for all, all those kind of things that you do. And then you can also tell them the kind of music that you do. When they're booking you, they know exactly what they're booking for. Talk to the viewers at Twitter. I'm giving you this platform. Okay, yeah, uh, so the viewers, um, yeah, I don't do bad, so yeah. Everyone, you want to see me? Uh, uh, Facebook is a uh, set Twitter. Um, Instagram is set Twitter official. TikTok set Twitter. Yeah, but the YouTube man. Yeah, YouTube is not ready yet. But uh, I'm still opening that one. But uh, there's one. If you wanna, uh, if you wanna watch what I was doing before, uh, it's ready for chat music. And I was doing one, two, three things there. Yeah. But Twitter, I'm not ready for Twitter now because I'm Twitter already. I am Twitter. So Twitter, I will never go for Twitter because I'm Twitter already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's trying to say Twitter, Twitter, not the app. Say Twitter. Because they say in our own language, in our own language, say is means That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, I did. Yes. Okay, thank you so much for coming to my show and thank you for the freestyle. I'm sure yeah, behind yeah, the yeah, cameras, yeah. you're going to really give me a good one because I really want to dance. It's a pleasure. Okay, guys, thank you for watching Trisha Talk Show. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and write the comment. Until we meet again, same place, same time. It's Trisha Talk Show. <coughs> You have it. Hear this, sir. She said to me, she bought you go. No, no, no. She hate the master. Ready for your rice. Now. I say Twitter. Tigger and butter can die. Say Twitter again. Who but I could die. I'm ready for your talking now. Money like this. No time to this. We need to be something nice like a kiss. Hey, Money like a Jamaica.
kiss my pasta. Eat disaster. Do you know I blast her? Hey, hey, like a Jamaica.